What is up, Evil Crew? Today we are covering a topic that a lot of you guys asked us to cover. So we are gonna go ahead and cover it in depth. Currently, a Facebook group is taking the internet by storm. Storm Area 51, they can't stop all of us. And as of this video, over 1 million people have pledged to be going or interested in the event. That's right, this thing is freaking blowing up. When we first heard about this, we had no idea that this was gonna blow up like this. So it's really crazy the way this is taking off, guys. So we have to do an in-depth follow-up. So let's get into it. So you guys, if you don't know what Area 51 is, let's go ahead and give you guys a quick rundown of what Area 51 is. Area 51 is a top secret Air Force base in Nevada. It became popular when Bob Lazar claimed to have worked on alien spacecraft at S-4, which is about 15 miles south of Area 51. It is guarded by private security, not military, which confuses a lot of people because these guys wear camo and they drive white trucks and a lot of people refer to them as the camo dudes. They literally secure the outer perimeter of Area 51 and they will follow anybody who gets within like two miles they start to follow you around the base we have been there a lot you guys so smash that like button if you think we should head out to area 51 when this event is supposed to take place if we get 50,000 likes you guys we will go out there on September 20th so let's get into the event okay guys we have been overwhelmed with comments requesting an extensive video covering this because we have been there so many times if you guys want to see all of our videos at area 51 all of the links will be in the description below so you can prepare to storm yes but we do not encourage anyone to storm area 51 one, but we'll get into that no, more. no, no, but if you want to prepare, be sure to check out those links in the description below after watching this video. All of the footage you're currently seeing and that you'll see throughout this video is filmed by us. That's correct, except for a few little snippets that we will be borrowing from other people who actually have crossed into the base. Be sure to watch this video until the very end for exclusive details regarding Area 51 and what may actually happen if a million people storm into the base. However, what a lot of people don't realize is this event was obviously created as a joke, you guys, a freaking joke it was a small joke it was like when we first covered it, it had a hundred thousand people saying they're gonna go now it's over like a million people who are interested I think a million four hundred thousand right yeah something like that it's a crazy amount so you guys let's talk about some of the things what they're planning on doing so again the events plan involves Naruto running to outrun bullets and meeting at 3 to 6 a.m. and also pay a special attention to the names of those who created this event we're gonna show them on your screen now it should be obvious by now clearly satirical clearly it's a joke but people People might actually freaking show up to try to storm Area 51. So what would actually happen if 1 million showed up to storm Area 51? So first of all, let's go over all of the problems with this event if people actually try to show up and ignore the fact that it was created as a joke. All right guys, so the first problem, which is a really, really big problem, is people are supposed to meet up at Amagosa. It felt like the guy who made this event just picked some random location around the Nellis Air Force Base. They picked some random location that they thought was Area 51. They picked a place called Amagosa, which is like literally just driving in a straight line to Area 51. You're talking 40 miles, but there's no entrance to Area 51 in this location. You have to drive all the way around the base, all the way to either Rachel, Nevada or the Alamo, Nevada to even get close to the base. First of all, the first major issue and the logistical problem is the location that this person picked in order to make the meetup to go to Area 51. It's like it was so obviously created as a joke that he just, he just added the alien tour center. Yeah, like he had no clue of Area 51, just picked some random location and said this is the location we're gonna meet up at. Problem number two, getting the aliens in Area 51, which is really obviously a joke, guys, but some people really do believe that there's aliens in Area 51. That's correct. If you believe Bob Lazar actually worked in the base and you guys believe there's aliens, post in the comments below. Yeah, but let's just pretend that a million people got into Area 51. There is a huge pollution problem inside Area 51, which is why some camo dudes have experienced some nasty scaly rashes and some have even died from cancer, guys. Yes, one claim that they were working on the pits and they were burning hazardous materials, you guys. They were burning materials. They wouldn't tell the guy what materials they were burning so he could get help for the cancer he developed. So he died never knowing what caused his cancer. So this might happen to people. If we pretend they get inside, this could happen to you. Exactly. Because you guys, what we believe is happening in Area 51 and why it's so secret is we believe there's a huge environmental catastrophe in the area. I believe the entire area is most likely polluted, which is why the government even sees more land without any notification and why they don't want anybody going in there and why they have huge pits of burning chemicals out there that are giving people sick. Maybe if Americans found out what the heck was going on there, it would freak us all out like they maybe have destroyed the whole area. We don't freaking know. Problem number three, this event is going to be happening from 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. and I don't know how that's really going to work. Not to mention there was actually a statement made by the actual feds. Air Force spokeswoman Laura McAndrews in comments to the Washington Post on Friday 
warned anyone seriously intending to follow through was storming the site to think twice. Area 51 is an open training range for the US Air Force, and we would discourage anyone from trying to come into the area where we trained American armed forces, she said. The American US Air Force always stands ready to protect America and its assets. Which I found very interesting, and for the same reason as this other person named Annie Oakley who commented, we'll protect American and his assets by killing Americans to prevent them from seeing those assets. Makes sense to me. Basically saying, we will kill a million Americans to protect Americans. So you're gonna kill your own people to protect them. Yes, that's, that's a, a scary. pretty scary message of how our freaking volunteer military thinks about us. Which leads right into the fact that a lot of people think the signs say deadly force is authorized. That's correct. This is a huge misconception of the base. Area 51 is on the opposite side of the Nellis Air Force range and it's a little tiny outpost you guys. Out there there is absolutely no signs that say deadly force is authorized you guys. Those were removed a long time ago and no longer says that. Alright guys another really interesting thing about what Laura McAndrews stated the Air Force representative is that you may not know this but Russia is literally allowed to fly over their spy planes over Area 51 meaning that they believe that Russia has more rights to know what's going on at Area 51 than those who pay for it, the American citizens. Some people will be like, well, that's a treaty, there's 72 hours. Well, guess what? Why not give Americans 72 hours and let them also see what's going on there? I don't understand the secrecy behind it all. I don't understand why they're keeping it so secret. Well, I kind of do because I believe it's a huge catastrophe. There's some weird stuff going on. I mean, America's government has had some history of experimenting on its own people. Let's not forget that. Doing some pretty crazy things to its own citizens, guys. So who knows what the heck is going on in there? You might not find aliens. You might find some other really messed up stuff in there. But it would be cool if there were aliens. It would be cool. Another misconception is the area around Area 51, you guys. In our video, when we had a bus chasing us, most people seem to think that we we're actually on the base. But we are actually outside of the base, which is public land that everyone is allowed to be. If people act like if, if people show up outside the entrance, they're just all gonna get mowed down and that's gonna be it. But if you're on the public BLM land, everyone is 100% allowed to be there. Exactly. And some people try to use also another myth that the base extends two miles beyond the boundary. Completely false. It's completely BLM. Just look it up. It's listed as Bureau of Land Management. Let's just say they actually enter Area 51. So would the camo dudes actually shoot someone for crossing the line? I would say probably not. There's a ton of footage out there of people crossing the line and making it back alive. As far as we know, no one has been shot trespassing in Area 51. The local sheriff himself stated that a couple people every month try to enter Area 51 and all they leave with is a freaking ticket. So a million people cross the line, they storm the base, what would happen? Nobody knows, which is why this has become so viral. People are going nuts about it, especially people who think the event is real and a million people are really pledging they're gonna go there and storm the base. A lot of people actually wanna know what the heck is going on at Area 51. Why is it so secret? Why is it kept secret from us? A lot of people really believe Bob Lazar's story that there are alien spacecraft back there that he worked on and they're keeping us all a secret from us. But one thing you have to understand is the police force out there in Lincoln County is very small sheriff's department. I bet you they have like 20, maybe 30 deputies there. They're not going to be able to stop a million freaking people. So a lot of people have said, oh, of course they could stop people. They're right? just going to kill all of them. You could use a, a warthog freaking plane and burp, burp, you know, kill them. But would you literally kill a million Americans, our own civilians? And if we did, what does that say about our own country that we would kill a million unarmed civilians entering a freaking military base because they want to save some freaking aliens or they think the aliens are there. Again, pretending that it's real, guys, because it's 100% fake. It's really obviously a meme. But a lot of people are taking it so seriously that they want to see their fellow Americans actually freaking killed over this. Yeah, we have seen so many comments, you guys, wanting to see a live stream of the event so they can watch people be killed. They always refer to the military as they, like there's some different entity, like a different country, but the military is us. We are the military, you guys. A lot of our relatives are in the military. So that would be like them killing their own freaking relatives that keeps something that's so crazy. That's one thing I think that keeps like people's imagination alive. They're willing to go to such lengths to keep it all freaking secret It especially there. sounds like it when you have the feds that make statements like that. That's like super creepy. Like what is really going on in there? Yeah, what is there so important that they're willing to like wipe out the entire, what if you were to wipe out all Americans, let's say half of them because they wanted to know what was happening in the base. Would Americans really stand by? I don't think so. I think it would cause a civil war. Even if they just killed a 10,000, 100,000 people just who were unarmed walked into the base and they decided to kill them. I 
believe that would trigger a freaking war. Yeah, and let's say they don't kill them, it would be literally impossible to arrest everyone if even like a thousand people showed up because that police force is so small locally. Exactly, and I think about a million people. There's no way they're gonna- No chance. There's no way they're gonna stop them. But again, they're starting an Amagosa if it actually happens. If anybody shows up, <laughs> they're gonna be so far away from Area 51, you're gonna be on the opposite side. You're gonna be like so far. It'd be like, I don't know, it's just really, really far. If you were to drive around that, you're talking four hours maybe. It almost feels like they're just trolling everybody at this point. Yeah, of course they were trolling. They probably had no idea that it was gonna blow up like this. It was just a joke. Now it's like really blown up. And if people plan on showing up, they're gonna be very, very sad because they're gonna be in such the wrong location. But a lot of people say, oh, they will shoot you because you know, look, this guy who got killed, people seem to think that he was killed crossing into Area 51. Yeah, a lot of people are saying this everywhere. I'm seeing it everywhere. I'm seeing it in videos, but guys, he was not killed at Area 51. He was actually like pretty close to Amagosa on the opposite side of Area 51. He was in Where Mercury. Everyone's getting led to. <laughs> yes, he was in Mercury and it wasn't even the base. He was on the freaking National Security Test Site. A nuclear site is where he went to. Not Area 51, you guys. He was in Mercury, Nevada, a totally different sheriff department, a totally different area, totally different jurisdiction. Area 51 is very far from there. We need to get that out there. Everyone needs to get that out there that that is a huge, huge myth that people keep on spreading. So a lot of people are asking if anyone will be able to live stream the event and the answer is probably no. 99.9% .9 of people won't be able to stream the event. Well, they might be able to stream the event in Mercury though because they're yeah. in the wrong area. There's probably internet there. But if you go to the actual Area 51 side of Groom Lake Road, there is zero, zilch. This is how middle of nowhere it is. They have no internet access, guys. For no matter what your carrier is, there's no internet access off Groom Lake Road. There is some in Rachel if you get over the hill there, but then you're still pretty far away and you once you get to the base You pretty much lose the internet But if you guys want us to go out there and film this and just hit that like button you get 50,000 likes We'll go out there and see if anybody actually is on the at right side of the base Yeah, and see what happens you guys. All right guys another thing that we have to clear up right now Though is a lot of people after our last video a lot of people thought that we were the ones organizing this or involved in this in some way And I got to make it clear to everyone right now. We have no involvement with the storm area 51 all we are doing is reporting on it, clearing up a lot of misconceptions and myths. So that way you people, anybody interested, will know the truth and what's really going on. Okay, you guys, another freaking misconception that I hear a lot. We hear this with every freaking video because we show the faces of the workers. We do. We show if they're outside, they're in public, they're subjected to the same laws as the rest of us, guys. We show their faces and a lot of people try to say that they will be fired if they get their faces shown. But this is 100% false because we have filmed people, showed their faces, and filmed their faces again and again months even years later exactly we will capture the same guys again okay and the white bus here's some questions a lot of people have about the white bus and where does it go the white bus is the bus that actually transports some of the workers to area 51 these are mostly union workers like think carpenters miners things like that that work on the base they're really low level workers they're the ones who are transported on this freaking bus so they go from the base they drop a few stops on the way and they end in alamo and they park that bus in Alamo in the Alamo Annex building. You can go see it anytime you want to if you go to Alamo, but just be aware that the cops there are a little crooked and they will mess with you guys if you're in that area, even though it's a public location and you're 100% allowed to be there. So you guys, we wanna know, are you planning on going to this event? Let us know in the comments below. We do not suggest anyone actually goes and tries to enter the base. We cannot suggest that even though in my heart, I would love to enter that base and go see what the heck is going on there, but we do not want anybody getting hurt you guys we don't want you guys getting hurt we don't want anybody on the base getting hurt we have a ton of exclusive content covering area 51 where we show things that are not seen in any other videos on youtube be sure to check them out in the description below make sure you guys check those out make sure you subscribe to our channel make sure you give us a thumbs up you guys and we hope that you guys have a wonderful day and be nice to each other in the comments below make sure you guys treat each other with kindness in the comments see you later